Hello, 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 everyone in this group, um, the schizophrenic dating site. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've created this group because um, I tried other groups. Okay, and of course, as you can see, that I posted my info uh, in this group. Um, a little bit about myself. I think everyone should do this. Okay, make a little video, less than three minutes or five. Explaining themselves, um, I, I've achieved, I've achieved my, I achieved my voices when I was seven years old, but that's a long story. I hear three inner voices, the dark one, the Socrates one, and the Jesus one, which I, I named today. And the rest is just noisiness, okay? I've learned how to control my voices in my inner, you know, animalistic manners, okay? So I won't get out of control. But of course, a little bit about me, I'm 45. I'm actually um, athletic built. Okay, I'm athletic built, not skinny. Okay, people don't understand what um, those things mean. Most of you don't, okay? But um, I'm very shrewd in a certain way. Um, I'm 45. I, I feel like I'm 19 years old. I play on the basketball court all the time. Got two daughters. They don't actually live with me. Let me see. Hold on. How long? I've been talking for like 1 minute and 24 seconds. But of course, I'm into everything. Anything and everything. I'm a comical person. I'm a direct person. And this is a problem for um, being very honest and being very direct is a problem for a lot of women. So I've traveled abroad for my first virgin. Okay, from my first wife was a virgin from Ethiopia. And I doubt that most Americans are any type of virgin. But if you are not a virgin, then I can accept polygyny, you know. Um, so I'm pretty shrewd, like I said before, and direct and comical. And I'm, I'm pretty much everything a woman needs, okay? But of course, um, if she's really super picky or superficial, I'm not your type. Um, I live in Washington, Pennsylvania, okay? So I live alone, got my own. I'm pretty stable, okay? And I made this group particularly for myself and everyone else who want to join. And I appreciate for all of y'all guys to share if you can. Okay, I have no animals. I live alone. Again, as I say, I got my own. Okay, I'm pretty stable. Um, I'm not really stable with unstable individuals. There's different type of schizophrenics out there. I'm a schizoaffective to be technical. Okay, but um, if you're the possessed type, then we're not compatible. If you less like you have these psychotic. Psych uh, psychotic episodes, okay, that's something completely different. I don't want to deal with that, okay? You know, psychotic episodes is usually a form of possession or some sort of a chemical imbalance which you can't control. I don't want to deal with that, okay? But if I tell you to calm down, you know, you might get smacked inside your head. You don't want that, okay? You know, because maybe something happened. Maybe you were dramatized. Everyone was dramatized, but some people do it intentionally, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, I give you a great example. When people drink, they usually withhold information in their deepest, darkest secrets. Deepest, darkest secrets usually come out when they're drinking or using drugs. And I'm not part of that. Okay, I'm not, I'm not down with that. You express yourself when you're drunk and then you get your ass whipped. Okay, I don't want to deal with that. So I'm looking for a female who's pretty much more likely to be a virgin, which is most of you are not going to be. And if you're not a virgin, you accept polygyny. Okay. And there's a lot of rules and regulations with me. There's an application process, baby. It's like, hey, in my in my past, I used to be an ex jigalower a fetish ex jigalower because I'm being honest and direct and open. I don't like hiding stuff. That shit comes back to bite you if you um you you hide things. Y'all know that, guys. You know. And so um, I used to do a lot of different things. When I say fetish, I used to use strap ones and get paid from women in my past. I have very no I'm very knowledgeable about even feminists, even women who hate who who hate men. Okay, I'm very knowledgeable on it because I've been raised around women most of my life. I do not believe in sleeping or having sex with females who are not a virgin. Okay, so I just told you that. Okay, um, a little earlier. Okay, but if you are into polygyny, okay, we can make a business from it. Okay. But I'm not going to be having sex with you, okay? You understand that, okay? Because I know there's some females out there who be like, Oh, we gonna, you going to suck my pussy, okay? <laughs> no, no. No, it don't work that way. I'd rather go over another country and deal with that. I'm not dealing with no, uh, no westernized, colonized female who basically thinking she's going to get money out of me, but she don't want to work with me, okay? You know, that's crazy, okay? But anyway, I just exposed myself on here 
And of course, I have also have YouTube videos and my daughter makes YouTube videos. And um, you can do a lot of things to express yourself on in this group. Okay, I like to talk about multiple subjects because I'm never a boring person. Okay, I'm always got stuff to talk about. If you like to know more and you want to join my Patreon, if you want to donate, I'll put it down in the comments section, okay? And you may say, who the hell is this guy? Okay, you know, just your friendly neighborhood schizologist. I've talked to hundreds of women in my past. I'm also a counselor and a therapist. I'm a father. I'm a traveler, okay? Travel to Ethiopia, lived out there for two years, make my own videos, make my own little fetish porn. Okay, um, no one's like me out there, okay? And there will be people who will try to copy, but I am authentic as fuck, okay? All right? So other than that, that's all I really want to say. What else is there for me? I, I'm a gamer, okay? I'm a gamer, okay? You know, if you're a schizo and you basically are trying to escape the voices talking shit to you, because that's what happened to me, you know? The voices was telling me not to do certain things, but then they, at the same time, call me names. You got to distract yourself. You just can't be sitting there. You might as well just kill yourself, right? You know, so you got to be busy. Keep busy. Keep busy. Now, if you have some sort of post-traumatic stress disorder or some shit, keep busy. Keep busy. Keep doing things, okay? Fight back. Talk back to them. Make sure you take your medication. I'm 50-50. I'm medication helps you get drowsy and sleepy and shit. And, you know, medication is not a cure. So let's get that out of the way, okay? Um, it just gets you drowsy and you go to sleep and shit. Okay? Voices will never go away, but you got to keep yourself busy. They don't, the doctors and the psychologists and the therapists don't really tell you to keep busy. They don't really care about your life. I take the holistic pr approach. See, I'm 50-50. Holistic approach, the doctors don't even give you that information. I'm just telling you as a, your friendly neighborhood schizologist. And yes, yes, this is a Labradorite, which is, an, I don't believe in the pseudosciences, but it's like a placebo effect. What? Placebo effect is not a pseudoscience, as a matter of fact, again. And so, as I said before, I created this this group, you know, so people can be broad and open-minded and open about things, okay, and expressive about things. This is not something that where you have secrets, because secrets usually come out, okay, in the long run. This is a labradorite, like I was saying, I digress. And, okay, I, 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 I have YouTube videos which talk about how to make this necklace, and this is separate from the necklace, and Labradorite is an alien, um, an alien stone, okay? And, um, this is, uh, Obsidarian stone. I like it. My, my, my stone is Obsidarian, which is my most powerful stone. It's reflective. It's like a scarab mirror, okay? It's just, I talk to demons and shit. I talk to the angels. Um, uh, Tiger's Eye. Uh, a Motivite, okay? Um, Lapis Luisel. And, of course, uh, you know, that's, that's about it. Those, and also Crystal Quartz. And also, um, Amethyst, okay? So, other than that, I try to keep the sapphire at bay and stuff, because I already have the knowledge. I hear the knowledge. I know the secrets of the universe, okay, and shit like that. Just ask me. Just give me a test, and you'll be okay. Oh, 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 and mathematics is not the universal language of the law, okay, guys? Because there's a lot of, um, white folks, the crackers and stuff like that. They, they get real arrogant, you know? They don't hear the other stuff that's going on in different dimensions and times. They don't believe in that stuff. But other than that, if you have any questions or comments about me or you want to know more, a little bit about me. Oh, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. I started hearing my voices when I was seven, so I'm an indigo child. I am Asperger's slash indigo um, starseed child, yes. Okay, I don't have sins in my past, so I'm the Jesus type, okay. I, I'm usually living in some sort of isolation. Like this this place where I'm living in right now is like isolation. Everywhere, everywhere I go, it's isolation. When I was living with my wife for like five years... Okay, from Ethiopia to and I brought her into America because the voices told me to bring her back. I don't believe in marriage. A, mar a marriage is like a, a so-called, um, you know, the pimp game for a woman. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in it. But I had to get married to my wife because the voices told me, if you don't, you won't never see her again. And I would be in Ethiopia right now, trapped, if it wasn't for my voices. My voices helped me get my car and my voices helped me get this place. The voices told me to do things that I should be doing to protect myself in, in immediate purposes. But... Uh, if I don't listen, I, I, I suffer. Okay, so I'm, I'm also empathetic. I'm an empath, which is not good for me because I have to stay away from most human beings because I can feel their energy and I try to do something about it, but I usually get ignored when I try to give advice. But of course, I am an Orpheucus as well. So I'm actually a dragon style Orpheucus in the sky, the man wrestling with the snake between um, Sagittarius and Scorpio, which is Puma 
in Ethiopia, the 13th month. It, it, it resides between uh, November and December. It's about 13 days. But of course, um, lots of knowledge and not a little bit of so little time. So I'm going to talk about talk about those things about myself and some things in my life. Uh, my firstborn daughter was born in Ethiopia. Okay. And of course, um, a second born was born in here in, the, in America. And of course, um, I have the power of work. So it's not really wise to have a relationship with me anyway because I can say stuff and it just come to light. Okay. And usually when people make fun of me, something bad happens to them. And that's why I stay away from most people. Okay. I'll be on the basketball court and then something will happen to someone immediately. It doesn't, this doesn't take a sh long amount of time. Doesn't, this is why you should be afraid of me. And I, t I told my wife this stuff and, and I'm not, I'm not, she says we're separated. So I say we're separated too. Okay. So, um, other than that, I don't believe in marriage. I do believe in agreement packs and business propositions. You don't have to fill out no prenup and all that other bullshit because that marriage stuff is a waste of time and effort. Okay. I believe in working together with trust. You don't have to waste all that money. You know, a lot of women tend to understand, think that spending a lot of money or a diamond or something on them makes them valuable as collateral damage. Okay? You know, you buy me a ring for collateral damage just in case you believe me, but that's not the case. I can give you a bubblegum wrapper or some a piece of candy. Yes, that's good enough. Okay, But sometimes it's just some people get so narcissistic in their own minds, they don't know what to do with it. Okay? I'm going to post this shit on the YouTube. Okay. But um, other than that, I do try to seek out polygyny. And then some people be like, I, I say, if you're not a virgin, we could just go for polygyny because because polyandry is usually practiced by women anyway, indirectly. So I'm um, just talking about myself. OK, I, I play basketball. I work out all the time. I do a lot of research, research and development, self-healing. OK, now emerald shit. OK, because I'm the emerald pill king. I'm the emerald pillar, man. And I try to seek out those rare uh, unicorns and the waltz out there, which basically can understand what I mean. And oh, 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 what, oh, 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 um, what is more important, a, a man's virginity or a woman's virginity? Do you think they're the same? See, I ask questions like that because most people don't ask questions like that. But of course, um, when it comes down to being entertained, and I'm not a monotone. I'm not a monotone. I'm not a monotone individual. Okay. I don't like my voice being like just da 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 da. I'm I move around when I talk. And I make people smile just by standing still. But um okay, um let me see what else is there. So follow me on my YouTube and I'll put it all in the inbox, okay? I may just put it in the description, okay? Other than that, okay, that's just who I am, okay? I'm an artist. I can draw graffiti. I'm a sketch artist. I have a degree in architectural drafting. Went to school for computer engineering and psychology. So I'm, I'm pretty lethal. And I'm a Wiccan, okay? I'm into Wiccan and magic arts and mysticism. I'm not into alchemy too much because that's a little bit too uh, mathematical and too technical for me. But I don't really believe in that because most pseudoscience need to be anecdotal. You have to do the research yourself. Well, you just get lost. If you want to join the Rosicrucian order, you're going to need some um, attributed uh, genes, okay, in order to, uh, you were born with them to know what the hell they're talking about. With good memory comes great power. Come great memory, come great power. Not just knowledge. But of course, um, I take my ginseng so I can actually focus. I take my, my one medication right now. That's all I really need right now. So I'm just going to change my mind. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm just going to be like what it is. So other than that, that's all I wanted to say. I don't know what else is there to say, okay? I, wish, I live in Washington, Pennsylvania. You know, you're gonna if you want to meet me and stuff and, and, and give me tea bag and give me head or something like that, you know, that can work. Okay, that can work. We can adopt babies and then all kind of, we make a family. And kind of, you know, I, I don't mind giving... You giving me a tea bag and give me a head, okay? What are you gonna get, okay? I got a strap on, okay? You know what I'm saying? I told you I don't have sex with used vaginas, okay? If you just said you just had one, one per one person in your life, I said no, 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 that's nasty, okay? 
Okay, and as I said before earlier, I said, if you have any questions about something, you can. If you think something is something I said that was despicable, say it. Okay? You know, like, Jesus Christ, life is fucking short. You live less than 100 years old. Jesus, man. You know, and then you try to be honest with people. You're alpha. You're alpha as fuck if you could just tell people right on the card, this is this is what you did. Okay, this is what you did. Da, 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 da. Okay, I got myself in trouble in the past because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. But of course, everyone has a past, but it's real important to keep your virginity for a female. I think it's more important for a female because a female can hold and store more diseases, even with condoms and shit. I mean, it, it lies dormant. She can get urinary tract infections, okay? And, and I don't feel like dealing with it. I know what a hymen is. I know what female virginity is because I had two virgins in my life. I lost my virginity to a virgin. Okay, my first wife was a virgin, okay? That's right. So you got that goddamn correct. And I was a fetish gigolo, okay? I used to carry a strap on my, my fucking book bag. I tell people all the time, nobody does what I did. I walked in a fucking porn store and said, I never seen a strap on before. And I said, that shit was huge. And I said, I think I have the biggest dick in the world, okay? <laughs> put a blindfold on you on your ass and then I, I put some vapor rub on it, okay? I put some ice on it, okay? I won't get you with no infections. I read about, I read the labels, but of course, um, these days women don't know how to pay. They don't want to fill out an application. They don't want to sign their name. They don't want to sell their soul because I hang with them and they don't want to pay my money and I, I can't see them ever again. But those days are gone because women are broke now, and men have all the money. Okay, not because uh, women are getting paid differently at a job because that's bullshit. Okay. <laughs> But other than that, anyone pops up in here, please say something. Don't forever hold your peace. I don't know how many people is watching me. I don't know. I'm just just talking about stuff of who I am. And if you have any questions about your schizo, your schizo ass, yeah, just talk to me. And we will give you some cures and some solutions because I went through the bullshit. I'm going through the bullshit with... The voices tell me. When the voices tell me to jump off that cliff, I'm thinking maybe I can. Maybe I can jump off that cliff. And then you drop. And you be like, ah, I thought I can fucking fly, motherfucker. I thought I could motherfucking fly. But I can't fly. And you're dead. Because you went over to that, that cliff and you thought that we're living in the Matrix. But your mind is not strong enough. You wasn't programmed. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you hear voices and you see a schizo, they, the white man will call you fucking delusional. They don't know what the fuck that is. Did you know what they used to do back in the 1800s to people who had schizophrenia? They electrocute their ass through the eyeballs, through the nostrils and shit because they didn't understand what the fuck is going on. It's not just some chemicals and shit going on in here. It depends on what type of schizo you have. But I'm just talking off side of the subject now here. What else is this there to say? I'm going to post this on my YouTube. I am going to post everything about me in my in in the comment section. As a matter of fact, I, put, I might as well just put it on the title. Now, like I said before, if anybody's watching, you better say something or forever hold your peace. I'm your friendly neighborhood schizologist. Yeah, it's a, a, neo, a neologism. You know, a word created all of the time. Words are newly created all of the time. But they don't hit the definition. They don't hit the, 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 the fucking dictionary. They don't. And so, um... There's too many people out there who are afraid. And um, when I say schizologist, I'm saying about like, like, yo, 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 yo. I've talked to psychologists. They give me information. I talk to my therapist. They should give me information. Okay. And I'm also a person who's gifted. But it also could be a curse. It can also be a curse. Okay. So I might not see your comments. So if you do try to post something down there, you know how Facebook is. They don't have enough strong enough signal and shit. Um, let's post it down there and I'll see it later. Okay? Um, you know, cause you know, some pe sometimes when people try to comment something, something down there, it might not show. I don't see nobody watching me. I don't see no comments down there. But other than that, that's all I wanted to say. I talked about myself. I talked about my interests and shit. You see how the conversation, time just seemed to fly. I can't talk like this forever. Okay. Because I don't like most of you. And most of you are just boring. You're just, you know, NPC players. A non-playable character. A non-playable character is someone who just don't have a conscience. Okay? But other than that, let me get the hell on out of here. I've been talking for like uh, 19 minutes. 
And uh, y'all have a good day. I'm going to post this on my YouTube as I say again and again and again. Because people don't tend to hear you when you say you repeat yourself. But people still do forget. They have a very low fucking attention span. Peace.